Hey Ninja! Welcome back to my channel once again. So another video, another question to be answered. If you're ready, let's begin. Now our question for today is, do I really have to be good in handling the computer? Or do I really have to be good with computers? Now, to tell you honestly, uh, I was not very good when it comes to tech or the internet when I started, but I can say that I know how to use the computer. I know how to navigate uh, the things in the internet or the World Wide Web, but that's because when I started, it was 2009 and Back in college, I did not have my own laptop, although I did have my own computer at home. I was not able to use it a lot because I was not staying home. I was studying um, away from home. So the only computer practice that I'd have back then was really just Friendster, Multiply, Facebook. So I pretty much know how to use the computer and I can say that I am computer literate. But when it comes to advanced knowledge of the internet, I was not really very knowledgeable about that when I started. So I'd say, yes, you have to have knowledge about the computer, at least the basic knowledge, meaning you know how to turn on or turn off the computer, obviously. You know how to use a keyboard. You know how to use the different keys on the keyboard. Um, you know, some shortcuts, although not necessary. You know how to open a browser. You know how to use um, the navigation keys. You know, the normal stuff. But not necessarily advanced um, knowledge if you're not going to apply for a tech support program. Because it would really be an advantage if you know advanced stuff about tech support if it's a tech support account. But if it's customer service, then most likely the basic knowledge of computer is okay. If you're worried that you will not get accepted because you're not good in using the computer, don't worry because you know what? Computer knowledge or skills are actually one of the things that you can practice at home and you can actually get better at it just by repeating what you're supposed to do. That's how people get better with things. They repeat, they practice, they do it again and again and again. And that's what happened to me. I just really had a lot of practice. And then... Um, if you feel like uh, you're not good enough for it, ask other people to help you. You know, there's always the internet. You can always Google it away. You can always ask anyone at home who is more uh, knowledgeable than you are. Don't, don't be afraid to learn different things when it comes to technology. Technology is always evolving. What you have learned years back may not be applicable anymore now and may not be applicable in the future so that's why we always have to learn and learn and learn and be open to um, everything that will be taught to us especially in a call center industry or bpo industry wherein everything is fast-paced so most likely you will handle the intranet because uh, clients or accounts have their own system navigational system that you can use to access customer accounts to do your job to do your tasks another thing is that um, using google is actually a lifesaver because you get used to searching different things in the internet and once you have your knowledge base or your job aid at work you'll also be more well versed to search different topics or whatever you need to search from your knowledge base because you already have an experience of working with Google Chrome um, or maybe Bing or other browsers or search engines. So it really helps to practice at home or at the internet cafe if you don't have internet at home. You know, just 30 minutes to one hour, you'll get used to it if you do it every week, not even every single day because of course you have work. So. It depends maybe every weekend or twice a week it depends on your time or your convenience aside from your basic knowledge of the computer part of your exams when you enter the call center is also uh, 
typing test. I have an entire video about that. So if you have questions about average typing speed, practice, and everything, I will link it up there. Other than that, uh, there are some computer examinations administered in other companies. When I started, I had that. Uh, so it's just a paper test asking me about what to press if you need to um, change to a different tab or what to what key to use if you need to copy to paste to select an item you know those basic stuff so then again you have google as your best friend don't be intimidated because those things can be learned and don't let it hinder you from applying because if you're skilled enough for example you really know how to communicate you really know how to resolve customers issues but you're just so so when it comes to using the computer don't worry too much about it. Just practice and apply. And good luck to you. So that's about it for this video. I hope I have answered this question. Thank you so much for watching and for listening. Don't forget we have videos every Tuesdays and Fridays. So I'll see you again on the next one. Take care and don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Bye!